Hi everybody, it's Red from Out of Red's Head. I hope you are well and happy. Um, I know that things are a little tense right now and uh, we all have a lot of concerns and I don't wanna make light of that at all, but I do wanna make the best of the situation. So I thought that while I was working on different things here, I would throw out an idea that hopefully you would enjoy, um, maybe get something out of or get some inspiration out of and it'd be fun to just take a break in your day and make something. I made some little cards here and they've been pretty popular in my shop and, and amongst my friends and all. I thought that it would be neat if we made a card or two or three and sent them to a friend. We have, um, all of us are, are kind of stuck in the house right now and it wouldn't hurt at all to get a piece of mail could really make somebody's day. So I'm going to be sending some cards out. And I thought while I was making them, I would turn on my camera and show you guys how to make them. I am using vintage materials for my cards. Um, this is a postcard from 1920. And I have scanned it and kind of worked on the scan a little bit. And the background is a piece of scrapbook paper. But I went through my books and I found a book from the late 1800s that had a very pretty paper um, that they used to line the book and for the first page. So I've scanned that and kind of cleaned it up a little bit. And these two images are available for free on my website. If you go to the blog, it's at www.redshead.com. There is a Z between red and head. Make sure you put that there or you could wind up in a website that is a totally different genre. And it, it might just shock you a little bit. So you never know out there on the web. Make sure you get the Z in there, okay? Um, go to Red's blog. And I have pictures that I have added to the blog. So you can just click on them and save them. And print them out and use them as you want to use them. Uh, please don't distribute my images. But um, my little angel policy is there if you if you uh, click to save them you'll see it there so anyway um, please make some cards and enjoy them and send them out to your friends or or um, you know neighbors or whatever spread a little bit of joy so I have gotten things ready and I just wanted to show you in case you don't have a way to print in case you don't have something you think you can use for this it is not hard at all to find something you've got around your house take a blank piece of paper and um, a pencil eraser and some ink or a marker and just make a background paper you can make your own you can use some table sprinkles and some glue um, maybe a hole punch and some ink uh, letters you could do just about anything to make your own background and um, just not hard at all and if for your front picture you could go through greeting cards and maybe find a picture that you want to use or maybe the kids have colored something and you want to use that maybe you have a gift bag or a gift card that has a little pop-up image that you'd like to take off and reuse there's so many things I'm sure you have laying around so just take a look and see what you've got and uh, let's let's get going on this right here I am using a piece of cardboard to go on the back of mine. I'm using cardstock. Um, you could use any kind of cardboard from um, like chipboard that you've got on a notepad or maybe chipboard in a cereal box or um, you know the box from your noodles or <laughs> just about anything. I've got a piece of chipboard from my Lucky Charms because I like Lucky Charms. Um, just the the options really are endless. Just find a piece of, of stiff paper or light cardboard that you can use to go on the back of your card and your paper that you're gonna use as the background. And we're gonna spread some glue and I'm not gonna um, do this as well as I would be doing it if I were putting this together on my own because I don't want to tie this up really a long time for you. This is just a quick little craft. Okay, I'm gonna spread some glue. And I use this Barely Art glue. I really like it. 
um, it gives me a second or two to move things around and then it grips tightly and um, it dries clear, which I really, really like. So if you're looking for glue at some point, that's a good one, but don't worry about buying things right now. Right now, just enjoy being being with uh, your crafts or your people or whatever's going on and just, just kind of soak up the time right now and don't worry about buying. You can use uh, Elmer's glue, you could use a glue stick, whatever you'd like to use. I'm just trimming my paper to fit my cardstock here just so I have straighter edges and please excuse my hands I have got glue and all kinds of ick all over my hands but I've been working on different things here all right so I've got my background and I have cut my image here and I believe I am going to check my measurements here because I want to be sure I don't tell you wrong um, I used a four by six well three and seven three three and three quarters inch wide by just under six inches piece for the back and my front is going to be four and three quarters by just under three you can trim along the lines on this one uh, when you save the image and print it out to, uh, I think it's 3.5 by 5, I think is the image that I printed. Um, but you can play around with that and do whatever you want. Or if you're using something different, no big deal. I'm just going to put some glue on the back of mine so we can adhere it down. And I really, really like these two together I just I love the print I think they go together really well it just seems to tie it together and I am NOT at all lined up um, just centering it on top as best as I can from several feet away and you can play around with that and get it the way you want it I like to use my sewing machine at this point and stitch around you don't have to do that if you don't have a sewing machine it is not a big deal it's just an optional thing um, you could glue a string around you could leave it completely as it is um, you could punch out some dots and go around it if you have buttons you know what's really cute would be to take your buttons and put them in the bottom corners and then you've got a little addition there and I'm gonna tell you just so you know from my painstaking discovery here you cannot glue the buttons down very well they, they really just don't want to stay I guess because they're shiny I've even tried like fabric glue and all um, what works well for me is if you have any of this mounting tape where it's kind of spongy or double-sided tape that you use for various household things and those command hooks and that kind of thing if you have any of that you can use that it works pretty well if you don't if you take a needle and thread and stitch a piece of cardboard onto the back of your noodle your um, <laughs> noodle your button um, and cut it down smaller than your button but just stitch it on the back you can glue the paper and it will make life much easier to glue paper than to glue um, some kind of shiny button it just really doesn't work very well you could even make your own button with a punch and um, draw a little crisscross in the middle um, what I'd like to do on top and I think my buttons are probably gonna go flying at this point but what I like to do with the top is punch two little holes and I have my hole punch and I'm not measuring this so I may be completely off you could go in the center and do two but two holes there or you could go at the top corner and let's see if we can punch this through you could do a different corner if you wanted if you have a little piece of ribbon laying around a piece of ribbon would be really cute just thread it through your holes here I'll trim off a piece we don't need all of this I'm 
and just feed it through the hole. And you don't even have to tie a, a bow if you can't tie a bow or, you know, it, you don't want to use that much ribbon or whatever. You just have a little piece. No big deal. Just tie a knot and uh, trim it. And then you've got just a cute little ribbon accent here. You could even, if you wanted to put your button up here, you could um, thread it onto a string or um, just glue a button in one corner. That would be cute too. So play around with what you've got and you can come up with something and then send your card out to somebody special. Isn't that cute? Get my button down there. I think that's just adorable. Now, if you've got the kids home, they might not be so interested in my bunny rabbit, and that's totally fine. And if you would like to use a spring image, kind of a cuter, a cute image that isn't Easter related, that is totally fine too. Um, there is a second image available for download. It's two little girls um, from the 1800s that are picking an apple, and it's very, very cute. And you can use that one um, as a replacement. Or come up with something on your own but say you want to do this with the kids you could have them punch out some colored paper or a magazine to get different colors in there and glue it onto a piece of paper they don't have to have scrapbook paper or something special they could just use plain background no big deal whatever they've got something will work and I was looking around and I found a greeting card, an old greeting card that had a rabbit. And my rabbit has a little bit damaged ear. Um, I would normally trace this out on something else, but I'm just going to use him for right now. Um, if you have a shape that you want to cut out, you could do it on a printed paper or card, and that would be really cute. I have cut a piece of card, a uh, piece of cardstock. You could use paper again or whatever that is a little bit smaller and I'm going to frame it on top here and kind of center it on my paper and I'm going to add my bunny rabbit and this bunny has some of that tape I was telling you about on him so that he sits up a little bit in a cute kind of three-dimensional but you could do that with a piece of fabric behind him or um, some cardboard maybe a couple pieces of cardboard nested together uh, a lot of different ways to give it dimension if you wanted to do that and I punched four little dots out of the yellow paper that I had made my bigger dots out or my littler dots out of and these are bigger and isn't that cute? It just finishes it off, adds some corners to it. You could punch it and add ribbon like the other card or just leave it this way. And if you are using a cereal box or something that you have recycling your cardboard, then you could just glue a piece of paper on the back and then you're able to write a message. So it's good if you can get this on without all over the place like I just did. But um, yeah, play around with it. See what you got. I think that these cards would be great to get in the mail and um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun sending mine out thank you for stopping in I hope you have a good time I hope you'll leave me a comment and the messages maybe you've got an idea of something you'd like to do and uh, let's just let's have some fun together take care and be safe bye